All right, friendly neighborhood surveyor, and somebody asked a question about how do you read contour maps. So this map here um, brought something home. Fucking fly. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, we were asked to stake like a, a limits line. There's going to be a, a, a school built here, and somebody needed to walk around and I don't know if someone from the city or the county, some type of environmental study, I'm not sure, but we needed to put some four foot lath up and stake this limits line around this area. So why we were given this contour map, so this is a recent aerial, all these little areas here, these are all spoil piles, there's a big housing track over on this side, so they are bringing it over and dumping dirt over here. So those are all spoil piles. There is a, um, like a basin here, so man-made basin. And again, more spoil piles. And this is more natural ground right, right here. The reason why I say that is, when you're given a contour map, you're given a contour map of the area that you're gonna be in. Um, you know, if we're talking construction. So this is an aerial. This is what the office got from our aerial of this area. So to get yourself um, orientated or to make sure that your stakes are going to be landing in the area that they've been calced, you can use this contour map, you know, because think about it here. You know, these, this line is kind of on the edge of these spoil piles. So that's a good check. Um, the way to read contour maps is these are all in, um, these are all contours are just elevation lines. So if you were to look at this and you did not have any elevations or you didn't see any, or you're just looking at it right now, you don't know if this is like a top of a hill or the bottom of a valley. The way you find out is, there's your elevations, 2255, 2260, 226, uh, what's that, yeah, 2265, so these are, I believe, one foot contours, see, 55, 6, 57, 58, 59, yeah, so 2260, yeah, so these are all one foot contours. And so then once you, let me get a pen here. Once you figure that this is the top of the hill, pen cap in my mouth, this is the top, this is the bottom, you know, I would probably use a pencil, but you could do something like that to show direction. So this is, this is the bottom. So that's the bottom, this is the top, slope is coming this way. So again, this is, okay, so this is all natural ground. This is a man-made um, basin. And so you can see this natural ground here. Since the contours are kind of wide apart, it, it, it doesn't have that much of a slope. This has less of a slope, and then it starts slowly sloping this way. Um, the, the more close the contours are, so the tighter the contour, the steeper the grade. And why I say that is because this was some pretty, this is almost almost vertical. It's probably a one to one. Well, one and a half to one, one to one. But it's pretty vertical. It was very brushy. So we got as far to the top as possible and we put a four foot lap. And then we walked all the way around into, um, into this valley here. And we put another lath here. Um, this was an angle point. And then we went as far to this vertical as possible and put another point. And then we made sure that we doubled up the, the height of the lath. So it's more like six and a half feet up or seven, seven feet up. And from this point here, you can see that point. And from this point here, you can see this one on top of the hill. You can see where my pencil, mark were, pencil marks were before. So, you know, we're not, I'm not climbing a vertical just to set a, set a point. So this is all going to be graded. But um, 
contour maps help you kind of uh, check where you're at. Again, show where you're going, what the terrain looks like. Once you figure out which way, you know, the elevation is going up or the elevation is, um, if it's going up this way or up this way, then you can figure out what's the valley and what's the top. Um, then, like if we were having to stake this slope, so this, this thing's, are, or this base and this one's already been um, built, then what you would see is, like, you would get a, um, you get a grading plan, and all the natural contours would be kind of lighter, or at least that's the way we get them, and then what's to be built would be in a darker color, so that you can kind of see where your top is going to blend in with the natural ground, or vice versa. Um, and, you know, you can kind of tell this is a man-made slope just because, you know, it's probably at a two to one, you know, and again, you know, you can, you can check, you can check two to ones and stuff. You can lay a scale down here. I don't think this, this, uh, plot was made to scale, but, um, you know, you can see how uniform it is. So you can identify it as a man-made structure as opposed to something like this. But, you know, reading contour maps as a surveyor, again, it's, um, it, it, it kind of shows you where you're at. It confirms where you're going or, um, you know, it gives a terrain. These, 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 these contour maps are, you know, when we do an aerial, this is more for the engineer to start figuring out how much dirt needs to be moved, how pads are going to be made and all that stuff. For our job, for this job here, it was just specific to make sure that our calcs were in the in the, in the right spot, and just to verify that, you know, um, you know, if 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 we were able to, you know, get this top stake out as far as we needed to, um, was it, you know, did it actually? I mean, actually, it looks like this because this is the aerial, but you know, it was just. Making sure when I got back in the office, I can say, yes, that top is the top. Got one as close to the toe as, as possible on this line. And yeah, this is, um, you're not able to walk up that safely. So that's it. Um, I don't know if that helps or hurts um, the question on how to read, uh, how to read contours or, a tope or an aerial. Uh, but if you're doing a job, again... This is this this would be like what what is to be staked, and then you could you know check a contour if you needed to catch a slope or anything like that. Um, everything else, like you know, if you you know if you wanted to check an elevation, you could you know, or just to make sure that your um, you know that your GPS elevations are matching, um, you know, maybe somebody else's work as well. You know, you can see where you're at on the map you know you can if you knew these were spoil piles you can get right outside the spoil pile and you should hit a 2319 or a 2320 or something like that and um you know it's just it's just verifying your work before you begin but uh if you have any other questions about contour maps let me know uh we rarely do we have to stake contours it's normally um like if this was a project and they were going to put a park here, whoops, here. If let's let's say they're going to put a park here and they've used this area for like um, um, dirt storage or uh, stockpile or anything like that, we could um, you could probably scale them in off of some reference line. You could, um, but these would be the contours that that you would stake because if you think about like a, like a park. You don't, you know, it's, parks aren't really steep, but water actually, or obviously needs to be able to flow off of them. And um, so there's some times where you have to stay contours. And if you had to do out in the field, you would find, you know, like some kind of reference line to where you could um, kind of scale them in. Or, you know, the office could calc out points on CAD. And then, you know, your 
your steak would say, um, I don't know, contour equals um, 2319.5 or something like that. You know, at least that's how we write it. Put the ribbon there, flagging, something like that. Um, so, how to read survey steaks. But that's about it. Um, again, other than staking slopes, uh, detention basins, um, we don't deal with con we don't deal with contours too much. Um, we deal with slope staking, but contour maps, yeah. Other than staking contours for like a park or a big open area, just for them to grade it back to how it was, um, that's the way we would write it. And that's how we'd stake it. All right, guys. Survey out.